The gates to your studio are shut, so I'll wait, I guess, then walk around this Jewish settlement upon the main with my old refrain, where's my friend Stanley? <laughs> my first guess is you'll be in Schwartz. Bet you are telling stories from another time. Yes, there you are, balanced by the counter, profile on, before the United Nations. Now it's 450. That's 50 years today. Or chatting up Karen, the Irish Queen. Still as good. Who will I find you in Welsh's reading an art book? Stone cup print of the dancing has said. Then suddenly I see you. You walk through the yard and up the stairs to your point of view. Overlooking your kingdom, and then the burial stones, which remind you of your physical immortality. Uh, welcome to my real world. How do you feel about this pink lady? I hope you don't fall in love with it. <laughs> Arriving here 18 years ago, this, this place here was totally empty. And the first thing I did was put up my reproductions of my favorite artists. And then I worked as much as I could placing all my sculptures around me because eventually I want to be influenced by my own work. After my world travels, I went back to my roots. In fact, what Leonard Cohen said, you can leave Montreal, but Montreal will never leave you.
I, I feel all my aesthetic energy flows through my fingertips, but I don't know how to dance, but I can turn on the radio and listen to my beautiful music. In fact, when I'm working, my hammer and chisel are extensions of my left and right hand. Uh, if I was a conductor and have an orchestra, I'd feel like a god. I had a, a reporter from the Gazette following me while I was working on his piece and then he got up and asked me if I could touch her and that really touched me because my buck of marble became a her. See the Chinese calendar at the back part of the room? In fact, that shape of the rooster and the pink lady seem to uh, talk to each other, have a certain relationship in form. I, I'm falling in love with my work. 